Go language is now regarded as a mature programming language with a developing ecosystem of libraries and frameworks. Because of its versatility for software development and ease of use, performance and concurrency support, it continues to draw developers. Now let's go take a quick dive into this series. Hello everyone, I welcome you all in today's session about introduction to Go language. In today's session, let's take a good look at Go language from scratch. But before we go ahead, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the EduRika's YouTube channel to never miss out on any updates from us. Also, if you're looking for any of the certification courses from EduRika, do check out the link given in the description below. Let's talk about our agenda for today. Here we learn what is Golang, then we talk about history of Golang, comes next advantages of Go, and then we talk about why to learn Go language, and at last we talk about some applications of Golang. Let's get ahead guys. So firstly, let's talk about what is Go language. So Go is a programming language created by Google that is referred to as Golang. It is a statistically typed compiled language that is designed to be simple, reliable and efficient. Go is often used for building web application, cloud services and distributed systems. It was developed in response to the demand for language that is effective, straightforward and dependable particularly for developing scalable and concurrent software systems. Go is now intended to be quickly typed while simultaneously offering facilities for complexity management. Next, moving on, let's talk about history of Go language. So, Go's development started at 2007 as a side project for Google under the direction of Robert Griesmer, Rob Pike and Ken Thompson. This group set out to develop a language which combined efforts of effectiveness and security of statically typed languages with simplicity and readability of dynamic languages. Next, with the release of an open source compiler and toolkit in November 2009, Go was formally introduced to public. The initial release supported by multi-core processor and concurrent programming was aimed towards Linux and Mac OS systems. From then, Go has been advancing till recently with frequent releases bringing new features and enhancements. This community is consulted during the developments of Go to make sure that the modifications are well considered and meet the demands of developers. Next, moving on guys, let's talk about some of the advantages of Go. While talking about scalability and concurrency, Go includes a built-in concurrency support via Go routines. So you must be wondering what is Go routines? So, Go routines are thin threads that enable concurrent function execution and channels that help synchronize and communicate among systems. Writing scalable, highly concurrent programs is made simpler by the concurrency model of the Go, especially when several tasks must be carried out simultaneously. Isn't that cool, right? Next, in terms of efficient performance, Go is made with high-performance applications, hence its performance is very efficient. Here, fast executables are produced by speedy runtime. Effective garbage collectors are facilitated and optimized by the compilation process. Go also comes with a built-in performance analysis and profiling tools that aid developers in additional code optimization. Now, let's be specific about garbage collection. So, Go uses garbage collector for separate memory management. The load of memory management duties is reduced and the risk of memory leaks is decreased so that developers do not have to manually allocate and deallocate memory. Next, in terms of strong library, Go includes a sizable standard library that offers a variety of features such as networking, cryptography, file processing and many more. Because the standard library is well maintained and documented, it is simple to use pre-existing packages and libraries for routine activities also making sure to reduce the amount of time and effort required for development. Moving ahead, let's talk about the fascinating fact why to learn Go. So given that Go language is one of the most popular programming languages, studying it can help you find new career opportunities. Also, it may even help you land a job at Google because of how frequently they use this language. When talking about in terms of competitive salaries, Go programmers have more than 20,000 job listings in LinkedIn and according to the current trends, their annual income is on average of Rs 7.1 LPA and it can go till 24 lakhs per annum. Whether it is for cloud native coding, infrastructure automation and application development, Go language has now gained popularity among many different kinds of developers worldwide. Now let's talk about next high demand. 
Go language has now become among the top 10 programming languages with in-demand skills. Because of its excellent features, speed and reliability, Go is being embraced by a large number of businesses including tech giants like Google, Uber, Dropbox and Docker and many more. Consequently, there are rising need for engineers with experience in Go. So why not grab the opportunity, right? If we talk about next learning curve, Go has a relatively short and straightforward language specification, making it simpler to learn and read Go written code. You can talk about going from Python to Go. Going from Python to Go can be very easy if you already are familiar with any of the programming fundamentals, which can make it seem very easy for developers. Lastly, let's talk about applications of Go language. Firstly, in terms of data analysis and science, the use of Go in data analysis and scientific computing is growing rapidly. Whether it be functionality for numerical computing, linear algebra and machine learning, they are all offered by libraries like GoNum. Because of its speed and concurrent features, Go is a good choice for handling big data sets and parallel processing. Next, in terms of networking, Go is a good choice for developing network applications due to its concurrency features. It provides good assistance for setting up network servers, putting protocols into place and managing lots of connections at once. Go is used to implement many networking tools including Docker and Kubernetes. Next, let's talk in terms of building distributed system. So any distributed system and concurrent applications is made possible with Go thanks to its lightweight Go routines and channel. Now it has become frequent employed for creating systems with high scalability and fault tolerance requirements in Go which make use of distributed databases, messaging systems and microservice architectures. That's fascinating. Now in terms of web development, Go offers a robust collection of libraries for creating scalable web applications. It comes with an integrated HTTP server packages that make setting up web servers and managing HTTP requests simple. Be it Revel, Jin, and Echo, these are a few well-known frameworks that are developed by Go and provide additional functionality for web development. Lastly, we talk about command line tools. So Go is a great choice for creating command line tools and utilities because to its simplicity of use, cross-platform compatibility, and static binary compilation. You must have come across Hugo, which is a static site generator, and InfluxDB, also a time series database, that are two well-known examples in command line programs written by Go. So guys, these were quite some fundamentals about Go language. I hope you liked this video and if you did, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay notified for our further updates. Hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching the video and like always, wish you happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!